Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the PlayStation 2 Slim I repaired in a previous video. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. It's playing a bit of Shadow of the Colossus. And you probably already noticed, yep, today I'm going to be installing a mod chip. So if you stick around, I'll crack on with that. Class game. To get in a PlayStation 2 Slim is actually very easy, but first we need to remove six screws. Um, but before that we need to remove six covers that hide the screws. And they are here, 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 and the final one is here. Remove those and you'll see the screws that you need to remove. That's the covers removed. Remove the screws now. There's one here, 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 and the final one is here. Remove those and the top cover will pop straight off. What I want to do now is remove the actual main board. Uh, but first remember, I've got to remove this uh, power and lid catch sense because uh, I guarantee you'll forget and you'll take the board out and you'll rip it clean off the board done that <laughs> that's what I'm telling you yeah you may have noticed that I replaced the battery in this um, it wasn't until I would repaired it and got it all back together I noticed the system wasn't saving its uh, time and date uh, and that's indication that the battery's gone so I've just replaced the battery off camera um, but yeah what I need to do now is remove the main board now that's super easy all I have to do is take out this screw then I can grab the main board and just pull it out like that to remove the shield from the front of the motherboard and the back of the motherboard there are a number of screws that we have to remove uh, first we'll start on the back there are four screws there's one here there's one here there's one here and the final one is here I'll remove those and then I'll flip the board over uh, and then remove the front screws we're nearly done to get the front and the back plate off we still need to remove five screws uh, but first we need to remove uh, these ribbon cables there's one here one here and one here remove those uh, and then the screws we have to take out are holding the optical block down there's one here there's one here there's one here there's one here and just under the spindle motor there is a screw and I'll show you that once they've removed uh, the actual screws that are holding the optical block down. That's the four screws removed holding the optical block down. What I'll do now is I'll lift it up carefully and show you the screw under the spindle motor. Hopefully you can see it just there. Remove that and then that's all the screws removed. You'll be able to remove the front and the back plate. As you can see I've got the PlayStation 2 Slim motherboard out, ready for mod chipping. Now the area I'm going to be chipping to is just here and just here. Now because this is so small and you know I like to take my time to do it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit then come back and show you what I've done. Then I'll do a little bit more, come back and show you what I've done and carry on like that. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with the first bit and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like that's the first part I've done uh, what I've done is I've prepped the uh, drive uh, these are the drive wires that you have to solder in um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the mod chip on there and then I'll solder the actual drive wires uh, to the mod chip so yeah I'll do that and then come back that's the drive and the clock signals all wired in. What I need to do now is wire in the BIOS side. So I'll crack on with that. And then when I've done that, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. That's the BIOS side of the mod chip all wired in. What I need to wire in now is reset, ground and power. And then that's the mod chip installed. 
So I'll crack on with that and then come back. And as you can see, that's the mod chip installed. Now in this revision, PlayStation 2 Slim, um, you need to install a laser fix. Um, what it does is it stops the laser burning out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install that and then come back and show you what it looks like. That's the mod chip installed, the laser fix installed. Let's get this all back together and give it a test. As you can see, we're all back together. It's a moment of truth time. Did I successfully install a mod chip or did I blow up? <laughs> PlayStation 2 Slim. Let's power on, see what we get. Let's power on, see what we get. Yeah, so we get the Matrix Infinity logo. Yeah, uh, this is set to boot from mass storage. I've just remembered that. They do that at the factory. I don't know why they set it to boot from mass storage. Yeah, so I'm going to have to change the settings. I might as well show you how you do that. Uh, the way you do it is you power off a system and you hold triangle and circle down and power the system on and you should get a boot menu there you go there's a boot menu now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and change uh, the settings so I want PS2 color fix to off uh, PS screen fix on PS multi disc on a uh, memory card patch on, a TAD auto patch on, macrovision fix on, ring fix on, DVD region I front 8 is region 3, DVD 9 dual layer support on. Uh, now this is the reason it was booting to mass storage, you can see uh, it's set to mass storage. So if I go to uh, auto, I always set mine to auto, there you go. And um, pad detect time 10 seconds and boot logo on. And if I press the start button, that should save the settings. Now if I reset the console now, we should get a normal boot. And we do. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. So at least we know the BIOS side of the chip is working fine. And um, what I'm going to do now is get a couple of games. I'm going to pop this in this uh, and then see if we boot the backup games. I've got a couple of burnt games. Um, let's start off with a PlayStation 2 game first. So let's open the lid. Got a bit of Ratchet and Clank. Going Commando. Love the Ratchet and Clank uh, series of games. Let's pop that in there. Shut the lid. Power on. And hopefully we get a boot. and it does look like it's booting sweet so yeah it looks like the PlayStation 2 side of things are working so what I'll do now is I'll go and get a PlayStation game and see if it will boot a original um, backup PlayStation game. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> they're so funny these two I've gone and got a backup version of Silent Hill on the PlayStation um, let's test see if this will boot PlayStation games now as well let's power on that takes a little bit longer to boot the um, PlayStation games um, because it doesn't go through the uh, complete boot process uh, it almost skips over it uh, you'll see what I mean you don't get any of the uh, PS logo you just get a uh, straight boot into the game and there you go winner winner it's booting original back up PlayStation games bit of silent hill for you <laughs> Yeah, I've got no memory card in at the moment. It's just moaning at me. I've only got a PlayStation 2 memory card. And as you can see, uh, it's booting PlayStation games fine as well. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the ultimate test uh, on this PlayStation 2 Slim. Um, I'm going to get myself a dual layer DVD plus R that's got God of War on it uh, and that will tell me how good the laser in this thing is um, because if you can read dual layer discs uh, it's winner winner chicken dinner so I'll go and get that disc and then I'll be back in a second I've gone and got my backup version of God of War you can see it's on a dual layer disc now these A1 disc uh, they're not very good so if you can read this um, it'll pretty much read anything so yeah let's pop the game in the drive make sure it's in there shut the lid power on and we'll see if this thing can read the disc oh Looks like we got it. What do you know? <laughs> winner, winner. Wish my camera would focus. Come on, focus. I'm just going to do that and then. There you go. God of War. It's working fine. Let's get the um, FMV on. I'll give it a proper test. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Looking good so far. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the So yeah. There you go guys, if it's reading those discs, uh, it'll read anything. So yeah, hope you like this video guys. Please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, it's got a wall. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Catch you next time guys. Yeah, told you I'd save it and winner winner. Cup fixed dinner. <laughs>